Hello all, welcome to my videos. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to access an S3 bucket using VPC uh, endpoint and Boto3. So uh, to demonstrate that, I have already created a VPC in, over here. Uh, I have created the VPC by name v, my VPC test and the network I am using is 192.168.10.0 with a CIDR of slash 24. I have created two subnets one is called as a public subnet and the other one is called as a private subnet and uh, the network address that i'm using for public subnet is 192.168.10.0 slash 28 cider and for the private subnet i'm using 192.168.10.16 slash 28 cider i have also created the internet gateway and i have added this internet gateway to my routing table over here so if you see so this is the gateway that i have added apart from that what i have done is i have created two security groups one is called as my vpc test public security groups and the other one is my vpc test private security groups so in the public security group i have created the inbound rule for ssh and for the private security group i have created an inbound rule for all the traffic coming from my VPC test public security groups. Along with that, I have also created two instances, one each for uh, private subnet and one for the one on the public subnet. So this is the public subnet instance. So if you see over here, the public, the private IP address that is there is 192.168.10.14. If you remember, I have created a, pub, a private public subnet with the network address 192.168.10, sorry, uh, 192.168.10.0 with a CIDR of slash 28. And if you see over here, the we have the public IP also assigned to this EC2 instance. If, you, if I check my private instance, you see only a private IP is allocated over here. Now, also, what I have done is I have created an S3 bucket, a my VPC test bucket, and inside that I have uh, uploaded few files, and we will try to access this uh, this fold uh, this bucket and these files uh, from the private instance. So, the next thing is I am also connected to my private uh, public instance. So, if I go over here instances if you see public instance then i have an ip address of 54.172.101.91 and the private ip address is 192.168.10.40 so right now i'm connected to my public instance 192.168.10.14 from here what i am going to do is i'm going to ssh to the instance that is there in the private subnet. So the instance on the private subnet has an IP of 192.168.10.28. So I will copy it and I will do an SSH minus I EC2 dash user at the rate. Okay. One thing what I am I'm missing is that the key. So I'm using this particular key over here. Now, if you see, I'm connected to my instance running on a private subnet. So let me clear it off. And now let me try to access the S3. So I will use AWS S3 space LS. And now if you see, it's waiting and waiting and waiting and it, and it does not give any uh, response back to me. Now, what I'm going to do is let me go back to my editor and I will create a VPC endpoint. So I've already copied all the required attributes. I'm importing Boto3 and I'm creating a client resource for EC2 with a region on in region US dash East one. Now I'm using a method called as create VPC endpoint and the attributes that I'm going to use over here 
is VPC endpoint type, VPC ID, service name which is com.amazon.aws. The region name dot the so S3 bucket that I'm going to use, the root table IDs and the tag specifications. So this all this information I will copy from from my console. So let me copy the VPC endpoint. Uh, sorry, the VPC endpoint type over here will be gateway. The VPC ID I need to copy from the AWS console. So I will go back to my AWS console. Go to VPC. And I will take the VPC ID over here and put it on this block of code over here. And the service name is com.amazonaws.us-east1.s3. Uh, the root table, again, I will take it from the AWS console, the root table over here, the root table ID that I need, I will copy it from here and put it. And the resource type that I'm going to use is VPC dash endpoint endpoint. And I'm going to give it a name. Um, my VPC test endpoint. Okay. Now, before I go ahead and run this let's check if we have got any results no the next thing is that let me see if any uh, default endpoints are there okay yeah so i don't have any endpoints now let me try to run them side by side and see what happens okay over here let me run this script okay so it's still waiting waiting let's see what happens okay now my uh, script has it uh, completed and let me see if we can run it okay so let me refresh it over here i need to refresh it from the top okay so my vpc endpoint has been created and now if i go back to my command line you can see i'm able to access the bucket over here right so let me run it once again so you see i can see the uh, bucket but previously i was not able to see this uh, bucket right it was it was it was in a kind of uh, hung state or it was trying to do something and I, it was not returning me, returning me any results correct so if you if you have multiple buckets you can see multiple uh, buckets over here and then you can uh, run all your aws s3 uh, command line to list and view your uh, contents inside the bucket so this is how we can create an end VPC endpoint using uh, Boto3. Hopefully, this video helps you understand how to create a VPC endpoint. In our next uh, video, we'll come up with something interesting. Till then, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.